Welcome to Chasing Stripes, my coverage of the 2017 South African National Road and Time Trial Championships. Wow, that's a mouthful. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Edward Green. I was brought up in Peter Maritzburg, went to university at UCT before heading overseas to race my bike. I've raced in Europe, North America, Asia and Africa. And here's a little taste of what I got up to in 2016. Welcome to Romania. To Italy. To Arkansas. To Lanzarote. To Switzerland. Westport, Ontario. It's up to it. To Reykjavik in Iceland. Barcelona. Stage 17 of the TDM. Sardinia. Los Angeles. Catalonia. To Canada. Specialized mothership. Saguenay in Quebec. Willkommen in Österreich. Banyoles Lake. Morgan Hill. In Utah. We are in Chamonix and we are going up Mont Blanc. I'm about 200 vertical meters below the snow line. Ow! Doesn't get more Swiss than this. I live with my triathlete girlfriend Sarah. All our possessions fit into our beloved station wagon, Rainbow, and we bounce around from place to place, mainly between France and Spain. And we, oui, je parle français. I'm back in South Africa for the first time since 2015 with one main objective the South African National Champs. Taking place here in Wellington, South Africa. But since the TT is coming up first, let's rewind and start there. The bike I'm going to be using at the Nationals time trial is the BH Aerolite. The bike comes fully equipped with Shimano Altegra Mechanical, Vision Trimax TT bars. I put my quark on there for power data on the day, running just a standard 5339 chain rings, and I've put my own. Ooh, that's hard. And I've put my own Physic Tritone saddle on for the race. The Vision wheel set on the bike right now is just for training. On the day I'll be using a rear disc wheel and I'll decide on the front wheel on the day, depending on the wind. If it is a very windy day then having a front wheel that is too deep just makes the TT quite unpleasant because you're just fighting the bike most of the time and that's not something you really want to be concentrating on during a time trial. For any TT event the bikes have to meet certain regulations set out by the UCI. First things first it has to be a UCI registered frame set. That means the UCI has approved the design and they've put their stamp on it and it's good to go. Secondly, there are certain measurements that the bike has to meet before you can use it at the event. While there are measurements governing the size of saddles and the angle at which you can have your saddle and the angle at which you can have your extensions, etc, etc, there are like rules for everything. The most important ones though are the ones that affect your saddle setback and the length of your time trial extensions. The tip of your saddle cannot be more than five centimeters behind the center of your bottom bracket and your aero bars with shifters fully extended cannot exceed 75 centimeters in front of the center of the bottom bracket and trust me that's a pretty tight position the UCI does provide an exemption for one of those measurements you can either advance your saddle onto the center of the bottom bracket so that there's zero setback or you can keep it at five centimeters behind and then advance the extensions to 80 centimeters in front of the center of the bottom bracket being a slightly taller rider I've gone for the extra five centimeters in the front so I have 80 centimeters between the center of the bottom bracket and the end of my extensions with the shift is fully out. That five centimeters makes a difference but it's still a very tight and very cramped position. One of the things that makes the TT a really difficult discipline is that you're using a position that is different to that on your road bike. A more stretched out position and a tighter hip angle means that it's harder to get the power out on the TT bike than it is on a road bike. I've set the bike up to meet the UCI standards so let's give the position a test on the home trainer. These kickers are so heavy. I'm 
I'm in Wellington this morning to check out the Nationals course. The circuit is called the Lady Lock Circuit and it is a 12 kilometer course with about 160 meters of ascent per lap. It's a course I've raced on before but it's been a while so I'm back out here just to check it out and, and commit it to memory again. All events take place on the same circuit, the TTs and the road race. Our time trial is three laps of the circuit, it works out at about 39 and a bit kilometers and the road race is 178 kilometers which is about 14 laps of the circuit I think. The start takes place just behind me where we roll about a kilometer out onto the circuit do the circuit and the finish line is in the same place just behind me let's go check it out One lap done. Circuit is more rolling than I remember. Didn't remember the couple of hills on the back side of the circuit here. The road surface is good, but the underlying stuff is not that uh, not that smooth. So there's quite a lot of bumps and stuff, which is which is pretty hard on your shoulders. So that's going to make it tough. The wind is going to be a massive factor. Just riding at this lap, this last section up, just sort of running into the start finish was. All crosswind, you get a bit of tailwind down here, but then still sort of cross headwind on the other side of the circuit there. That's going to make it incredibly hard. Rolling with wind on not the smoothest road in the world, that's tough. race ride for me this morning last ride before tomorrow's TT it's just like an hour and a half to two hours pretty easy cruise with a couple efforts just to wake the legs up and make sure they're ready for tomorrow this view of Chapman's Peak is one of the ones that I've missed in the last few years I've been back for two weeks I've ridden here a lot but I still just can't get enough of it. has a lot of benefits but second breakfast has got to be one of the biggest ones last thoughts before tomorrow's TT since the course has a really rolling profile just riding a steady power is not going to be the way to go the fastest to go fast I'm gonna have to push the climbs quite hard but also make sure that I don't lose any time in the windy sections but also not go too deep so that I struggle in the back end of the TT so it's gonna be quite a fine line to walk I'm feeling good my legs are feeling good and I'm really relaxed the whole reason I came home was to test myself against South Africa's best riders and we have some immensely talented talented riders from South Africa. So I'm not really feeling any pressure. I mean, all I've got to do is just go out there and ride as fast as possible and the rest is not up to me. 